So when it comes to sketching circles, you need to know two equations. First one is x squared plus y squared equals 1. It is the most basic circle and it looks like this. It has a center at the origin and a radius of 1. Now, it's going to be more useful for you to think of this equation not as x squared plus y squared equals 1, but x squared plus y squared equals 1 squared. Now, I'm not going to go through where this equation comes from, but you can think about it by understanding that a circle is simply a bunch of right angle triangles. You can draw an infinite number of right angle triangles, and this looks like something to do with a right angle triangle. All right, let me show you the second equation. x minus h all squared plus y minus k all squared equals r squared. Now, if you've got an equation like that, knowing what the circle looks like is very simple. The center of your circle will be at point hk, and the radius will be r. So let's just take a look at one. So when we consider this equation, we have a h value, h equals 3, not negative 3, right? Because our initial equation is negative h, so the h value is positive here. And the k value here is actually negative, which means that our center is at the point 3, negative 4. Now what about our radius? Now our radius is given by looking at this number here, but it's not going to be 25. It's got to be the square root of that number, because remember our initial equation says r squared. So the square root of 25 will give us our radius, which is 5. It doesn't make sense to put a plus and minus there, because we're not going to have a negative radius. Context matters. All right, we can sketch that really quickly. Now what I've done here is put the center here, and then drawn these four other points. These are the extreme values here. And I just need to draw a nice little curve around those. That is a terrible looking circle, but you get the idea. Now just to make you sure that you fully get it, we're just adding 5 to here. So this point here is uh, 8, negative 4. We're adding 5 here. So this point is 3, 1, and so on. Now no doubt you are seeing some x-intercepts and some y-intercepts. Now you can see here that there are two x-intercepts and two y-intercepts, I believe. So how do you find them? Same way you find x-intercepts and y-intercepts all the time. You let x equal 0, you let y equal 0. The algebra can get a little tricky. I'm just finding the x-intercept here by letting y equal 0. You can see that that's 0 plus 4 squared, which is 16. I get this x minus 3 squared plus 16 equals 25. I can sub subtract 16 from both sides, which leaves me with x minus 3 squared equals 9. I can square root both sides, and this is where my two answers are going to appear. The square root of 9 is plus or minus 3. And then I get x equals 3 plus or minus 3. Now this means that my drawing is slightly out, because these two solutions are 3 plus 3, which is 6, and 3 minus 3, which is 0. So my answers are 0 or 6, which means that this point here really needs to go right through there. So my circle is a bit wonky, needed to go through there a bit. And this value here needed to go through exactly 6. Now that means that that value there is 0, and I just need to find one more value. I can go through that entire process again, instead of finding the x-intercept, finding the y-intercept. But I'm not going to do that in this video because the process is identical. Just do it again so you can find that point as well. Um, people are divided on whether you need to find those x-intercepts or y-intercepts at all. Make sure that you read your question carefully when you're asked to sketch a circle so you can know what you're supposed to do. Now, of course, you might get asked to go the other way, determine the equation of a circle that you see here. The important thing is just to note that you've got an equation and you need to sub in your values. So x and then this minus h. Now that h determines how far left or right it's moved. Here's our center. So x minus 1 squared plus y minus 2 squared equals and then look and try to find the radius. I know this point, I know this point is directly above it. This length here is three units. So the equation is this, three squared. But you probably shouldn't write three squared when you can simplify it easily and just write nine. It's as straightforward as that. All right, that's sketching circles and then finding equations of circles.